Chester, Pennsylvania. This is the ninth annual USA Disabled Hockey Festival live on FastHockey.com. Coming up next, our first game on uh, rank number one. It's the standing amputee championship game between the AAHA and the Buffalo Warriors. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the first of two broadcasts today. My name is Tom Wilms. These two teams have met before. They met earlier. It was on Thursday, a 6 to nothing win for Buffalo. But the AHA looking to turn it around, trying to earn themselves a championship. And the goaltender matchup for the AHA, number one, Thomas Murphy. Between the pipes for Buffalo is number 33, Will Stewart. So it's the AHA in the USA jerseys in white, the Buffalo Warriors in the Buffalo Sabre jerseys in the blue. And we are underway. He's trying to lift into the zone here. This is Tyler. Tyler, the netminder, Stewart, after the wrister from Rick Kaminsky. Keeping it alive is San Giorgio. Now for Bader. Back to the point. Wrist shot blocked down off a leg. And here comes Paul Tipton with some speed. Ends up into the corner. Tipton looking out in front. Goes back behind the cage. Trying to wrap it out in front. He scores! Wraparound try by Paul Tipton. His second of the playoff round. 13-35. Let's go in the first period. And it's 1-0 Buffalo. Cage and just wrap it home. Shot comes in, glove down, save, rebound, scores! Tapped home there by Fred Trunzo, his third of the playoff round. And just like that, with 13.25 left in the first, it's 2-0 Buffalo. He'll cut across, gets it across now. Kennedy with a one-time drive, bouncing puck ends up in the corner. Near side, Hughes is again the AHA putting on pressure. Hughes with a shot, he scores! Brian Hughes able to cut across and then lift it glove side with 10.53 left to go in the first. It's now 2-1 to one Buffalo. Here, for two Hughes is the third Buffalo of the Warriors. Warriors. Wearing the Buffalo Sabres jerseys. As it comes out for Butterworth, moving in three on two. Butterworth with a shot, blocker save, rebound. That gets swept away by Kennedy. Kennedy. He scored Bader. yesterday, he'll move in now. Kennedy tried to drop it off. Shot. Trying to go through the legs of Butterworth, who knocked Here's it down. Handed. Another break. Here is Nick Butterworth coming in two on two. Butterworth with a shot that goes just wide. Far side, Trunzo. One of the goal scorers for Buffalo in this game. Gets it now for Butterworth. Trying to cut out in front. He scores! Nick Butterworth with a low wrist shot, a short-handed goal. His first goal of the playoff round. And with 5.33 left to go in the first period, it's now 3-1 Buffalo. Nine. Get the line here, Brad Wells. Wells with a drive, save, rebound, trickles just past the post. Reaching out to cover is Stewart. And play is stopped with nine seconds left to go in the AHA Hughes. power play. Hughes already has a goal in this game for the AHA. He's in the corner, thrown out in front, deflected, score! Deflected home by Todd Pasek. Just got it underneath the pad of the netminder, Stewart. His third goal of this playoff round. And with 4.43 left to go in the first, it's 3-2 Buffalo. And the AHA coming into this game, 3-1 so far. The only loss coming to Buffalo. And Buffalo undefeated. And they really haven't been tested in their four games. But so far, they're being uh, matched punch for punch, essentially. He's moving here is Bader. Bader with a shot. Score! Great move in by Bader and just roofed it past the netminder. For Bader. That is his second of the playoff round. And with 4.27 left to go in the first, we're tied at three.
Taps forward, and it could be a two-on-one here for the AHA. Moving in is San Giorgio. San Giorgio cuts across, looking to pass it over, but reaching on back to grab it was Butterworth, and now Buffalo can try to move out. And tries blocked into the corner off the stick of Rain Butterworth. Yes, tries the backhand out in front, bouncing puck, and it goes over the line and in! It went off of Pasek, and in the goal, Pasek is second of the game, fourth of the playoff round, and with 1.48 left to go in the first, it's a lead for the AHA. Just a bit of a fluke play back behind the goal. It bounced off of Pasek, may have gone off a defenseman as well, but it trickled ever so slowly over the line, and it gives the AHA a 4-3 to three advantage. And going into this game, you wouldn't think it would be this kind of game as Buffalo has stymied everybody they've played, including this AHA team, in the first round of pool play. And before this game, Buffalo had only let up four goals in four games. But now they've given up four goals in just the first, not even, 15 minutes of play. Ah, that goes high. Right. Here, this is... Wells trying to chase down the far side boards. Gets pushed down, knocked down hard by Tyler Charles. Puck ended up in, underneath them both. Play is stopped with one minute, one Plus second had a chance in front. Levesque on the far side. Controlled though by Buffalo. Buffalo on the near side. Could be a two-on-O break. Here comes Tipton. Scores! Paul Tipton, his second of the game, third of the playoff round. 27 seconds left to go in the first, and we're tied at four. This AAHA team so far looking like the LA Kings of the late 80s, early 90s. In order to win, you got to score a bunch. And that's so far so good. Like the LA Kings back in those days with Gretzky, they were winning games 8-7. to seven. They would never get caught in a 2-1 game. And same rings true here. They put on a lot of pressure on the Buffalo Metminer, but they also get caught in odd man rushes. A backhand try, scores! Coming into the zone was Trunzo. Two quick goals once again for Buffalo. For Trunzo, it's his second of the game, his fourth of the playoff. And with 17.3 seconds left to go in the first, it's 5-4 Buffalo. Odd position. So here comes Buffalo. Onside, two on two. Shot comes in. Scores! Keeping it low there was Paul Tipton as he gets the hat trick. Third of the game, fourth of the playoff, and with 12.57 left to go here in the second period. It's now 6-4, Buffalo. And Buffalo will try to Russell Muff. He gets cut off. Gets it across, though, for Coniglio. Coniglio into the zone, turns to a low two-on-one, gets it back, Coniglio with the shot blocked down. Loose out in front, but skated Trunzo. away. Five. Here is Trunzo. Pass up ahead now. Trying to move in. This is San Giorgio. But it's knocked off of him. And it's up to the far. Our side. Penalty coming up. It's going to be against the AHA. Here comes Coniglio. Three on two. Tries a shot blocked down into the corner. And we touched up by the AHA. And Buffalo will go on their first power play of the game. A roughing call coming. And going to the box for the AHA is Dan San Giorgio. Buffalo yesterday against the USA Warriors ended up going two for two on the power play. This is their first opportunity in this game. Rain Butterworth to take the draw for Buffalo. Josh Proversky for the AHA. Back to the point. Scores! Right onto the stick of Rain Butterworth. His first of the playoff, and with 11.15 left to go in the second, it's now 7-4 Buffalo. Buffalo now a perfect 3-for-3 three three on the power play during this playoff round. Tied for Tipton. Tipton moves in 3-on-2. Across now for Muff. Muff comes in with a shot, he scores! Russell Muff just roofed it over the glove of the netminder Murphy. His second of the playoff round, and with 10.17 left to go in the second, it's now 8-4 to four in favor of Buffalo. Off a stick, thrown across, shot comes in, scores! Hamilton on the intercept, throws it across for Trunzo for Coniglio. his. Coniglio comes out in front. Coniglio shoots, and he scores! 
Nick Coniglio on the wraparound try. Unable to stop it was Thomas Murphy. 3.44 left to go in the second period. It's now 10 for it's Buffalo. It's side for Wells. Wells' pass up ahead is intercepted as Levesque released. Going right back in here is Butterworth. Nick Butterworth into the corner. Tries a sharp angle, goes at the side of the net. Wrap around, try, and he scores! For Nick Butterworth, that is his second of, second of the playoff round. And with 29.6 seconds left to go in the second, it's now 11-4 to four in favor of Buffalo. Moving in here is Levesque, going out in front, takes the shot, and he scores! Great pass in front for Dan San Giorgio, his second of this playoff round. And with 13.26 left to go in the third, it's now 11 to 5. Again, an 11 to 5 lead for the Buffalo Warriors. Again, they only have it up 9 to 5. I don't know if they have a rule or something that they can't put up more than nine goals. Uh, that is their decision. But it is actually an 11 to 5 lead for the Buffalo Warriors. Turns into a three on two. Muff throws it across. Swing and a miss there by Trunzo. Got the, the piece of it. For the second time, they're 0 for 1. They give up a shorthanded goal. Face off is down. One back to the point now for Bader. Bader has room. Bader with a wrist shot. Deflection. Scores! Big deflection out in front. 10-19 left to go in the third, and it's now 11-6 in the corner. Back ends it around to the far side, and this is Hamilton once again. Hamilton into the circle, takes a shot, blocked down, save, rebound, stuffed, and then covered up by the netminder, Murphy. And play stopped with 9-20 left to go in the third period, an 11-6 lead for the Buffalo Warriors. Mesk moves it and fires, and it goes wide. Good opportunity there. Thrown towards the cage by his own man. That was uh, Coniglio trying to clear it back behind with the side of the net. Luckily for him, he uh, didn't get it on his own with some speed. Murphy with a shot. Scores! Brian Hughes with a great run. His second goal of the game, his fourth of the playoff round. And with 5.35 left to go in the third period, it's now 11-7 Buffalo. So a three-goal run now for the AHA. Normally a four-goal disadvantage with 5.35 left to go in regulation. He takes the shot, drops it, and now it's intercepted by Coniglio. Banks forward past Wells. He'll move in three on one. Wells cuts across. Wells moves in, takes the shot, and he scores! It's Nick Coniglio, his second of the game, third of the playoff round. 4.20 left to go in the third, and that ends the AHA run. It's now 12-7 Buffalo. So now it's an even bigger mountain to climb here for the AHA. As moving right back in, here is Muff. Muff with the drive, scores! Russell Muff, his second of the game, the third of the playoff round. Two quick goals for the Warriors. Makes it 13-7 with 4.13 left to go in the third period. Face off is down and controlled by Buffalo. This is Nick Coniglio. And he's got two goals in the game. And now here comes Buffalo once again into the zone. Thrown across but skated away by Levesque. There's a low three on one. Now it's a three on two here for the AHA in the zone on side as well. As well as on his backhand, tries it off the post and it goes out of play as he tried to go short side. Wells is saying that it was deflected by the netminder, but no, it hit all iron and ended up in the protective netting on the far side. So play stopped with 3.51 left to go here in the third period. A 13-7 lead for the Buffalo Warriors. Face-off comes outside the zone. San Giorgio tries to win it forward and does. Racing in on the forecheck is Pasek. Swept away, though, by Niemek. And then cleared out to center ice off the stick of Kennedy. Kennedy has to race back. Kennedy with it. Slid around to the far side. Tapped away, trickles out in front. 
but skated away by Levesque. Levesque, a couple of nice toe drag moves. He'll move in three on two. Levesque cuts across with a shot, stick save, rebound, gathered up by the netminder Stewart. And play is stopped with 3.22 left to go in the third period. Fans coming up next here on FastHockey.com. It'll be the USA Hockey Sled National Championship game between the St. Louis Blues and the San Antonio Rampage. And that's coming up next here on FastHockey.com. Approximate start time of 10.15 a.m. Kennedy at center ice, throws the far side for Levesque, the captain of this AHA club. Thrown across, shot comes in, deflected, trying to gather up as the netminder and does. And he'll hold on, stopping play. 3.09 left to go here in the third period. Face off to the left of Will Stewart. In to take the draw here is Dan San Giorgio for the AHA. Lifted back to the point. Kennedy bashes it up ahead into the corner, trying to sneak out here as Wells. Wells out in front, knifed off his stick. And then trying to clear up the center ice was Charles. Charles trying to get it forward for Bridge. It's intercepted, coming right back into the zone as Wells. Wells has room, and he fires, and that goes high. We've noted throughout the first couple games that we've covered in this tournament, Wells has an absolute rocket. Wells cuts across, knifed off his stick, still has control, keeps it outside the zone, absorbs a hook penalty coming up. It's going to be against Buffalo. Kevin Bridge has a couple of words for Wells, but Bridge is the one going to the box. 2.38 left to go here in the third period. And the AHA will go on the power play for the third time. They are one for two, and they've given up a shorthanded goal. Got a 13-7 lead for Buffalo. Again, they've elected to keep it at 11-7 on the scoreboard for some reason. Face off is down. Wells taps it across here for Pasek. He lost control of the puck. It's lifted forward by Tipton. Taken now by Dave Levesque. Levesque is a good stick handler. He'll move in. Three on two. Throws it across. Backhand try. Blocked down. As trying to grab it with San Giorgio. On the floor check is Pasek. Collides with Tipton. Coming back to help out is Coniglio. He finds some room and he'll clear the line. Wells at center ice. Has to wait for his mates to come on side. Dumps it near side. That's off sides. As Pasek just couldn't wait. 2.09 left to go in the third period. 131 remaining in the AHA power play. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here on FastHockey.com. We're at the Iceland Arena in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Tom Williams here with the call. This is part of the 2013 USA Disabled Hockey Festival. Bit of a, an equipment issue. We're at the netminder for Team USA. He took off his left pad. I'm not sure if the referee's going to let him play like that. I do believe that that left leg is his prosthetic. And the, and the AHA is going to call a timeout so the netminder Murphy can uh, fix up the pad. And again, even though it's the prosthetic, you don't want to, I don't think you want to let the goaltender play without a pad. So they're going to try to strap it back on, I believe. So 209 left to go in the third period. 131 left to go here in the AHA power play. A 13 to 7 deficit for the AHA. Buffalo leading. Tons of goals in this one. Again, not quite what we expected. As before this game, Buffalo had only given up four goals. And they gave up four in the first period against this AHA club. While the AHA, they were high scoring throughout, except for that loss against Buffalo on Thursday. But they also gave up a ton of goals as well, winning their games by scores of 12, 6, 10, 7, and 10 to 5. So you kind of knew that the AHA would give up goals and maybe get their share, but Buffalo, usually very strong. As the goaltender has been pulled by the USA, or by AHA rather, extra attackers on south, 6 on 4, thrown out in front, trying to tip it on, goal, but it's saved, rebound, side of the net. And it is covered up by the netminder Stewart as the AHA tried to celebrate. So 156 left to go in the third period. It is a six-goal deficit for the AHA, but they have pulled their netminder. 
And I don't think Murphy's pads can be fixed quickly enough, so they figured, what the heck, let's pull him. As the shot comes in, that's blocked down. Skated away, and Tipton will clear him all the way down. Chasing back here is Kennedy. Kennedy has control. Kennedy passed dangerously out in front of his own cage. Intercepted there by Hamilton. Hamilton tended to dunk towards the empty net, but instead it rattles around the near side and controlled by Hughes. Hughes, two goals on the game for the AHA. He'll move in, looking for goal number three. Cuts across, Hughes has it with a shot saved by Stewart. Hughes gets it back. Hughes looking to cut out in front, goes back to the point now for Kennedy. Kennedy trying to avoid a couple of blocking slides, and now here comes Hamilton. Hamilton moves to center ice, gains the line. Hamilton takes his time, throws it over now for Trunzo. Trunzo looking for goal number four, knocked off his stick, still follows up. Shot comes in, that's blocked away. One minute left to go in the third period, 22 seconds remaining in the power play for the AHA. Pass forward now for McAleer. McAleer, five on two, drops it off now for Levesque. Levesque comes in with a shot, save, rebound covered up by Stewart. And play is stopped. 49.4 seconds left to go in the third, 12 seconds remaining in the AHA power play. Face off will be to the left of Will Stewart. I'm gonna take the draw as Poperski. One to the half boards, pitching in here is Hughes. Hughes dumped back to the point. Kaminsky turns and fires, just missed the far side post. Kept alive here by Wells, cross near side. Kaminsky tries again, deflection save. Rebound skated away and cleared around the near side by Huser. Power play expires, another shot comes in, that gets blocked wide. That's Kaminsky trying everything in his power to get something on goal. Kaminsky comes up with it. Into the corner now for Hughes. Hughes throws it out in front, goes off a leg, trying to come out with Pasic. Chopped out to the line, Wells reaches back and he'll dump ahead, but it goes off a leg. 17 seconds left as the power play has expired. Trying to move in here is Muff. Muff towards the empty net, drops it off. Trying the shot there was Hamilton, but it got knocked in. Got it, and here comes Hughes. Five seconds left, coming in, three on two, tries a shot, goes off a leg, back behind the cage, and that will do it. Buffalo wins it by a final score of 13 to seven. They have won the 2013 USA Disabled Hockey Festival Standing Amputee Division. So congratulations to the Buffalo Warriors. Here are your goal scorers in this one. For the Buffalo Warriors, three goals each for Fred Trunzo and Paul Tipton. Two goals each for Nick Coniglio, Russell Muff, Nick Butterworth, and one goal each It does not look like there were any single goal scorers except for Rain Butterworth. For the AHA, three goals for Todd Pasek, two for Brian Hughes, one each for Dylan Bader and Dan San Giorgio. The AHA ends up one for three on the power play, giving up one shorthanded goal, while Buffalo one for one on the power play. They finish up the tournament 5-0, and oh, and they win the championship. Congratulations to the Buffalo Warriors. Great game, though, for the AHA. And after losing... Six to nothing on Thursday. They could have just came to this game and folded up. But they challenged. At one point, they led in the first period by a score.